Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about all of the Xtool F1 models. So you have the original F1, the F1 Lite, and the F1 Ultra. What are the differences between these machines and which one should you purchase? So I have a couple of models here behind me and we are going to go over the differences between these and hopefully this helps you with your purchasing decision. Now I do have a full video on the Xtool F1 Ultra as well as the Xtool F1 Lite and I will link to those in the description below this video. So if you wanted like more information about either of those machines, that would be the place to go. If you are looking for that comparison between them all so you know which ones to research, this video is for you. So let's take a look at the models behind me. This tall one here is the Xtool F1 Ultra and the smaller one is the Xtool F1 Lite. Now the original Xtool F1 is also this light size, so we can use this for size reference. So the first difference we're going to discuss obviously is the size. So the Xtool F1 Ultra is much larger than the Xtool F1 Lite, but as you can tell as a comparison with me, they're still pretty small lasers. However, the Xtool F1 Lite or the Xtool F1, either one at this size, has a handle on the top and it's perfect for portability. So it's not very heavy and it's very easy to take places on the go. Now, while the Xtool F1 Ultra is larger and heavier, it is still fairly portable. There isn't a handle, but it's not that heavy and it's very easy to move by yourself. So if you're looking for the increased capabilities of the F1 Ultra that we're gonna go over, you can still get a fairly portable size with this model. Now, all of the Xtool F1 lasers are Galvo style lasers. That means that there's no laser head that moves. The laser itself moves across the surface as it cuts or engraves. That does offer a few advantages, like being able to like do things like engrave down inside of things like a box. And it also makes these where they can be so super small and portable because you don't have to have a huge laser bed. Now, what kind of size objects can you make with these then? The workable area on each of these is fairly small. So the F1 or the F1 Lite is like a four and a half inch by four and a half inch square. And the Xtool F1 Ultra, I think about it is an eight and a half by eight and a half inch roughly size square. It's a little bit larger than that, but it's about double the size working area of the F1 Lite. However, with both of these machines, you can optionally add a conveyor type accessory to the bottom, and that would increase your working size area. So that conveyor would actually move your project along and increase the size of what you could work on. Also with like this little guy here, the bottom actually comes out. And for instance, I have set this on a wood table. If I had the bottom out of this machine and you just literally raise it out and lift it up, if that bottom plate was out of this machine and I had this laser operating, it could actually engrave the top of this table. So just because it is a small laser doesn't mean I couldn't do very large things with it. So you do wanna take into account that these machines can do way larger projects than they actually look like they can do. So now let's move on and talk about power of these lasers. And when we talk about power of these lasers, Two of the models have two different types of laser heads already in them. And that is a diode or blue light laser, or the second laser is an IR or infrared laser. Now, what do those mean? So a diode laser is used for engraving and cutting certain materials, but it is known for being a lower power laser. And it does not work with things that are clear. So like clear acrylic, it would not work. It would not engrave it. It would not cut it. So the diode laser itself struggles with clear materials especially, and you might even struggle with some lighter colors. And it is just because of the type of laser it is. Now an infrared laser is really great at engraving, like that's where it really shines and engraving tons of different materials, including tons of different metal materials. So what do each of the F1 models have? The smallest is the F1 light, which is this guy over here, and it has a 10 watt diode or blue light laser. That's it, just one laser. Once you move up to the original F1 laser, which again is this size, it has a 10 watt diode laser as well as a two watt infrared laser, all included within the package. Then when you move up to the Xtool F1 Ultra, 
It has a 20 watt diode laser as well as a 20 watt infrared laser. So this big guy has both of those installed inside of it, comes with a package, and that means this one is definitely the most powerful of the three. You can cut and engrave more materials and do it even faster than this one does it. And when we're talking about speed, both of these are extremely fast lasers. That's one of the things I'm extremely impressed about with the entire F1 line. They are extremely fast when engraving and cutting. Now, with this style of laser, I am most impressed with it when it comes to engraving, especially this X-Tool F1 Ultra. You can get super deep, even embossing looks on materials where it goes super deep into the surface because of that 20 watt infrared laser. So if you are looking for something that engraves, definitely keep watching this video and do your research on the X-Tool F1 models. I really think you're gonna love these. Now, they can cut certain materials as well. However, you are a little more limited because of the size than you are with the engraving function. So I feel like the engraving is where all of the F1 machines really shine. All of the X-Tool F1 machines, you can get an optional air filter accessory, so you can operate these indoors. You can also purchase a rotary accessory for both of these machines, or you could do tumblers and different things like that. I already mentioned that you can do like a slide conveyor system with both of these in order to expand the surface area that you're going to work on. And that also allows you to do multiples of things. So you can just sort of put multiple pieces on the conveyor and as it goes through, it will laser each of those. And that is really great for production where you need to make a lot of the same thing. They are also all small enough and portable enough where you can customize on site at something like a craft fair, especially the F1 or the F1 Lite definitely can take it along with you and offer that customization on site, which is something that will differentiate you within a craft or market. Now, the F1 Ultra does have a touch pad that's separate from the laser itself. And I do find it very convenient. You can see what you're cutting right on the touch pad. I really do think that it is an improvement from the F1 and F1 Lite. However, is it really needed? Probably not, but I do find it super convenient and one of the pros of the F1 Ultra, I feel like. With both machines, you're gonna find safety features. You'll find the screen that drops down to protect your eyes. You will also find that both machines have fire detection and will stop if they detect a fire. So both of these machines have those same safety features. They also both use X-Tool Creative Space, which means that both of them are extremely easy to use. Let's just face it. So Extel Creative Space is what you use to input your designs into your laser. And Extel Creative Space, I find, is very easy to use and the learning curve isn't too bad. So I do think with any of the F1 lasers, if you are a beginner to laser crafting, you are not gonna have any trouble. You will be up and running in no time at all. I find both of these extremely easy to set up and they both come with materials for your first project. So everything you kind of need to get set up and get started and you know experiment with your laser is included with that original package. So which one of these should you pick if you are shopping for a laser and have landed on Extol F1 as your laser of choice? So I will say that the Ultra definitely has a lot more power and you can do more things. If you are into super deep engraving, if you are into that really cool, deep engraving with embossed look, the X-Tool F1 Ultra is the one that you're gonna to wanna to purchase. Now, let's say you are looking for a laser to take to a craft fair to personalize on site. I personally would go with the smaller one, the F1 or the F1 Lite. If you are personalizing jewelry or any type of metal, I would go with the F1 machine or the F1 Ultra. If you are personalizing something like wood, you could definitely do the F1 Lite. Because the F1 Lite does not have an infrared laser, you are gonna be able to do all the metals that you wanna do with it. So you're only gonna be able to do like metals that have a coating on them where you remove the coating, or like some stainless metals may mark with the F1 Lite. But otherwise, you're gonna need an infrared laser in order to do those projects. So that would mean upgrading to the F1 or the F1 Ultra to do those. And again, the F1 Ultra would have more power. However, of course, it is a larger machine. 
So if it were me and I was personalizing on site, I would definitely try to get by with the F1 or the F1 Lite. Now, what if you're a laser beginner and you're just getting started with laser crafting, which one should you choose? You probably can't go wrong with any of the three models. I do think that these lasers are small enough that they will fit in any space. I mean, let's face it, this F1 Lite or the F1 would fit in just about anywhere with how small it is. So if you're looking for a laser that fits in a small space, that's easy to use, that is a great place to get started, but that's powerful enough to do tons of projects, the F1 series might be for you. And I don't think you can go wrong with any of the models. Just take a look at like, what do you want to make? You want to make all wood projects and maybe some acrylic that has color to it. No clear acrylic, remember. The F1 light would probably be fine. You want to engrave some jewelry, but you're not worried about it being overly fast, then the original F1 might be for you. You want to engrave jewelry, you want it to be as fast as possible. You might even want to do some really deep embossing just to play around with it the F1 Ultra might be something you want to invest in. Overall, I really don't think you can go wrong with any of the F1 line when it comes to laser crafting. I think you're going to enjoy any of those. So just kind of think about the kind of crafting you want to do and compare the three models. I will link to where to purchase all of the three models in the description below this video. And you can also head to the comment section and ask me questions. Tell me what you plan on making and I will tell you my suggestions for the machine that you should get. And if it is not an F1 machine, maybe it's something from another brand or a different X tool machine, then I will tell you that as well in the comment section. I am happy to help you choose the laser that you need for your crafting space. Now, if this video helped you, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.